Okay, YouTubers, Pat Loves Vets, back again. Been a while since I've shot a uh, Carolina Reaper Grow update. I uh, just thought I'd shoot a quick one. It's Saturday, March 6, 2021. Just want to shoot a video showing y'all the state of my Carolina Reapers. And it's looking pretty good. You can see, I got some plants. Pretty good size. These are ones that, uh, uh, seeds I planted back in October, but they've done really well. I think next year or, or this year or this season, I'll start my start my seeds for the next season, maybe in October, and give them a chance to actually get get taken off pretty good. These are good. These are big enough that I could actually put them outside now if it wasn't for the, the fact that it's still cold here in central Kentucky. We still got overnight temperatures that are well below freezing. These are some of my smaller seedlings. I finally have got these sitting in the window seals, trying to get some natural sunlight on them. These are some that I just started uh, a few weeks ago. I was home for over a week because I didn't I didn't uh, have work because the weather here was so bad. These are coming along pretty nicely. These are all new seedlings. And again, I want to show y'all this. If you haven't followed any of my videos, this is how I germinate my seeds. I use a little, uh, the Jiffy peat pellets. These little Jiffy, uh, some people call these greenhouses. Some people call them humidity domes. Same thing, I guess. See those droplets? High temperatures, high humidity. That's what you want when you're germinating these Carolina Reapers. And I've got this uh, Fairy Morse heat mat underneath them. So they get heat from the bottom. That's what you want to see. These germinated, I guess, a little over a week after I planted them. Some of them still have not popped. There's at least one seed in each of those pods. I got probably about 50% germination rate so far. Hoping to see the rest of them pop here in a, here in a day or two. These are well on their way. Beautiful day today. We got sunshine today. Here, again, a few of my smaller ones. Got these under a little heat light. Hopefully they won't need them today. I got some natural sunlight. This window still faces east, so they get, uh, they get light during the early part of the day. Kind of small. Hopefully these will take off here well enough that I'm, I'm hoping to have these planted outside about shooting for the second week of April. Once the threat of the frost is gone, here in central Kentucky, we'll get, uh, we'll get these in the ground. I'll shoot another video once I get them planted. I'm going to have a lot of plants. Should be a really good season. I'm looking forward to it. I think I have some really good plants here. What I always try to do is, is take the seeds from my best looking peppers. The ones, and when I say best looking, I mean the ones that look the truest to type and what a Carolina Reaper should actually look like. At least my plants, very, very pleased with the way these are turning out. And then I got a few more over here. Again, this window sill faces east. Some of these are don't look too good. That little guy right there, I don't know, he may be too far gone. I think I overwatered these. I may have overwatered these a little bit. Peppers don't need a whole lot of water. These are not all of my seedlings. I've, I've still got more. Got some over here. Yeah, this window still here is the only one in my house that faces south. So they will get the most light. These are not Carolina Reapers, obviously. These are Brandywine tomatoes. I grow tomatoes as well. I don't like the Brandywines. Those are Carolina Reapers. And that little guy right there, I'm almost positive is gone. You're going to lose a few. When you play this game as long as I have, it's just inevitable. You kind of got to expect you're going to lose a few seedlings every year. I try to set these right next to each other so I can put the most of them on the window seal. Pretty much covered.
There you have it. That's the uh, state of my Carolina Reaper Grow as of um, March 6, 2021. I'm hoping when I shoot this video a month from now, it will be outside and these will be in planters. If you got any questions about the Carolina Reapers growing them or if you're growing them yourself, please uh, put your comments below. If you got any questions, I'll try my best to answer them. I've been growing Carolina Reapers now for, I think this is about my sixth or seventh season. I've been at this for a while. There you have it. Everybody have a good weekend. Be safe out there. Wear your mask if you're out in public. I know we, we're coming out of the woods finally on this COVID, but we're not out of the woods yet. We still got a mask mandate here in Kentucky. Everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. I've picked up a few new subscribers. Hopefully, you get a few more. I want to thank everybody that has subscribed. And that's all for now. I'll see you in a month.